What's going on YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about low IQ influences, getting up to no good, causing trouble, being a nuisance. We've got a few different examples. One of them actually got busted by the cops, which is great news. Another one goes around bumping into white people intentionally, and then when they get called out for their bad behavior, whines like a bitch and tries to blame it on his mental issues. Get the F out of here. You're a low-life rodent who can't behave himself in public because you're low IQ. We're going to be checking out that and just see what's going on there. But as I always say, first up, if you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all notifications because I'm struggling here. But not as much as young kids these days who are brought up on a diet of that garbage right there. So you got KSI, you got Prime, you got Lunchly, God help us. Which will probably give you cancer in about five years if you eat that. <laughs> That's just my opinion. And that chick there, I don't even know her name. She's another low IQ degenerate. Back in the day, we grew up with stuff like this. I mean, that's the way you do it, right? Parents smoking on a daily, smoking around the kids, smoking in the living room. Kids getting all that smoke in their lungs, trans fats on an hourly basis, carcinogens up the clacker. That's the way it should be. None of this pussy ass generation shit they got going on now. But let's talk about these influences being out of control. This one here isn't too bad, okay? Because we've got a little person here just trying to make a living by acting like a complete dickhead on a train. Oh, oh, get the fuck oh, off me, get, oh. get me my fucking bag. What's wrong with you? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, fuck? Oh, fuck? Get the fuck off of me. What are you doing? What the fuck? Get off of me. Get off of me. What are you doing? Get off of me. Anyone on that train could have taken this person out at any opportunity. That's the difference. I'm still not approving of it, but I'm saying this is less offensive than others. But at the current time, you have people doing just the weirdest shit you can imagine, and somehow people are watching this. We've got this example here. I pooped. I Power Ranger pooped. I'm on live right now at the grocery store. Come on. Like, what the F is this? You'd have to be mentally retarded to watch this. Can you imagine someone who grew up watching this being like your doctor or your engineer or your pilot? God help us, it will be a bloody nightmare. But now let's get to this streamer who is intentionally bumping into white people, insulting white people as he walks through this casino. You with the fat ass glasses. I'm outside. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. I'll show you. Wow. Why are you talking to me? Uh, yeah, I was talking to your bitch. Come outside. I'll, I'll meet you outside. I'll knock your ass out. Bitch. And by the way, I've had to mute some of the audio because, as you can tell by this individual, I'm guessing visually, he's someone who likes to use the N word liberally and he's challenging people there to meet him outside. Why can't these things ever happen when I'm around? The things that I would take him up on that, and I'm pretty sure many of my viewers would also feel the same way. Let's go outside. Come outside. I'm outside if you want to know where I'm at. I'm going to knock your ass out too. Old ass going to die. Beat the dog shit out of you. All black people get respect for me. Fuck these white people. Did you ask her to keep it? I'm outside. Just let you know. Beat the dog shit out no white person. No white person. What's up? What you want to do? What you want to do? Come outside. Come outside. Come on. 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 down on the ground in the gutter where he belongs and i think they also got a ban which is great news they came out and tweeted this damn i failed again i let my depression and sadness and liquor get the best to me again i literally said i was trying to control my anger and i let it swallow me hold hold sorry i let yo down i'm sorry 100 Again, this is low IQ garbage. How, how do people like this get a fan base at all with this fucking stupid? How is that possible? 
Who are the people that are dumb enough to be watching someone like this? You'd have to have literally shit for brains to be watching someone like <laughs> To watch someone like this. Jesus Christ. But there you have it. Can't take responsibility. Tries to blame. Oh, it's my depression. It's the alcohol. It's the sadness. Get the F out of here. Be a man. Show you got a set of nuts and actually take responsibility. But now let's move on to this one. We talked about this one uh, about a week or so ago. I'll play a little bit of this. You know, shit. And I'm about to come back and put Free Palestine too. The Free Palestine, bitch. Look, what's she looking at? And you know damn well there's a genocide. You know there's a genocide. Now stop it. You taking, I'm taking this shit. So this was the one who mistook the Greek flag for the Israeli flag. And they went after the people in this restaurant, tearing down their flags, making a nuisance of themselves, all because they're incredibly stupid. But what's the update? From the New York Post, TikToker arrested after wrecking Greek flags at New Jersey restaurant, thinking they were Israeli. And I said in my video that this person should be arrested, and thankfully they are. Now let's go to these dancing idiots in Japan. The Japanese are sick of them. And you can tell a similarity among the people doing this. I can't mention what similarity that is, but uh, it's pretty obvious. So you have these people here who are not good dancers at all. I mean, that was probably the worst moonwalk I've ever seen. Glides are trash. You know, the windmills are trash. Any, any subpar breakdancer who's done it for about six months is better than this person here. They're trash. Why would you be promoting how trash you are at dancing by doing this? Right? Nothing they're doing here is good. Right? That power move in the background there. Any, <laughs> any breakdancer these days, even in the 80s, would be seen as mediocre at best. Here's more. Same idiots, and this was posted by a Japanese account. Look, the people just want to get on with their day. Don't want to be bothered by idiots like this. Like, wh like what are you doing? And the Japanese account that posted this video here said, Nuisance foreigners don't come to Japan. Don't come to Japan because they're sick of your bullshit. I mean, pretty much like everyone else in the world is as well. Again, more here. Okay, these moves are nothing are nothing worth uh, posting videos about. They're crap. And the Japanese just thinking, why are these idiots doing this? They're actually doing a disservice to other people who look like him who travel to Japan in the future. Because imagine you, you don't see many people of... Um, of his heritage. But then the one time you do see someone, they're doing dumb shit like this. That's going to taint your opinion of people like this. And here we have one of the people involved in this stupid shit saying, a lot of hate, but they jealous because they can't dance. They got no style. All their culture is from black people. Really? All their culture is from black people. Okay. Their cars suck. Their phones suck. They make cheap ripoffs. They short, all their women are crazy about black men. The original Japanese were black. The Japanese have been the peak of car manufacturing for decades, the peak of electronics for decades, and everyone else is ripping off Japan, copying the way Japan makes stuff. I mean, I don't know what their height has to do with anything. And the women there are crazy about black people, really? I mean... The women in those clips did not look like they were crazy about the people who were dancing around them. The hypocrisy of a certain group like this trying to steal other people's culture when they're the ones all the time claiming that other cultures are stealing their stuff and for the Japanese to find you, you know, not watchable as we saw from those clips on the street, you must be pretty bad. Especially since they're getting entertainment out of um, a cockroach in a pipe. <laughs> They're getting entertainment out of this, okay? So imagine how bad your dancing must be. I hope you're having a good day as always. And as I always say, get the peons the hell out of my stinking house.